You stared at the demon flare before you and Muzan. He looked absolutely horrid. You were surprised the determination the demon, this demon slayer had to kill Muzan. Yin, this is a fight I can finish myself. Go take care of those other slayers. Maybe eat a couple while I take care of this nuisance. He ordered and you nodded, flying off. Tanjiro took, looked as, as you flew of, unfortunately, he couldn't stop you. Muzan was right in front of him, but he knew that somebody would stop you. You looked around and found a slayer by themselves. They also looked fairly weak. You throttled, okay, throttled and went full speed towards them, but then you realized they were like a demon like you. He seemed, oh, she seemed, wait, what? He seemed familiar. You looked at the bod body they they were above. Oh, sorry. Is that your kill? I'll just go and eat another one. His eyes widened. Yun Chen? The fact that he was also a demon made you trust him. Hmm? Have we met before? Yes, it's me, Yushiro. Yushiro. Hmm. That name? does sound familiar. Ugh, you must have lost all your memories. Come here, he said, pulling out a needle. What's that? You asked a bit spectacle now. It's an antidote to make you human. He grabbed your arm while telling you this, which you pulled away. What? Yin Jen? I can't believe you. A traitor to your own kind? Master Muzan will punish you harshly for your disobedience. Yin Jen, what are you talking about? You hate Muzan. No, I don't. Yes, you do. He turned you into a demon and turned you against all your friends. You might not remember it, but all the people are fighting. you were fighting, they were your friends. Just let me inject this into you, and we'll remember, you'll remember everything. <laughs> that is thunder. That's... Oh, my power doesn't go out. You were, you were about to fly away from him when your wings were slashed off. Sorry, Yin Shan, but I'm not going to let you stay a demon. It was the slayer with the toy course tips. Ignoring the pain, you began to run. You got a good distance away. Tanjiro figured out how to do the 13th form. He had to put, perform all 12 forms to do the 13th form. While he had his doubts that he was able to do it, in it, he refused to give up. He decided to decided to ev put everything he could into defeat Muzan, bring on the bridge of death. He no, concealed incredible power. He was moving faster, developing stronger attacks. He even turned his blade red. Sorry, I had a burp a bit. He was halfway through his the form. He just needed to do six more. It was one more hour until dawn. Muzan noticed as he was fighting Tanjo. What's wrong? His movements lack fallibility. He's slow. Movements exhaust human beings and weight weights on them like thackle. It says thackles, but I think it's supposed to be shackles. So they can. I'm not finished off one exhaust and wounded human. Then he realized it must be because I'm slowing down too. Otherwise, a one-on-one -on -one fight could never have lasted this long. I must not fail a second time to kill him. That woman must have done this. I ingested Tanjo, not Tanjo, <laughs> Tommy who sells. So I'll make her tell me. Muzan entered deep into his subconsciousness to summon Tamiyo and ask her what she was doing to him. The drug you used on me, wasn't it for making demons human again? Oh, it wasn't for making demons human again, she answered. The drug I used on you does indeed do that, but I won't tell you what else it does. 
Use all those brain cells of yours to figure out it yourself. Musan smashed the head and then went through her memories. It was one with Shinobu and you making on po making working on poisons. Blech. Let's mix these two poisons in the assumption he can withstand one, Shinobu said. The first one makes demons human again, but if that doesn't work, let's also include something that will have an even greater effect when left over. She added, then you stepped in. You lifted up your pointer finger, pointing up le like you're explaining something. For the one second, an aging potion would be perfect. This one will make Muzan age 50 years in a single minute. Then Muzan realized, in that moment, had been aging. While, he's, while still fighting Tanjo, he did the math and determined he was now over 9,000 years old. Ha! <laughs> 59 minutes until dawn, a crow shouted. I'm sorry, I can't get over the car I did. <laughs> By the time Tanjo had completed all 12 forms, he was going to keep doing all 12 forms until dawn. You saw a katsu. Oh my god, I'm a katsuki. A kashuki. So desperately hungry, you went to the cut, cut, cut. I can't ever say these right. The kasu, kauki, no, it's kauski, and jumped towards him, yelling. The ka, oh my god, the kasuki screamed as he saw you coming towards him, but was stopped by a male with flame-like hair. He trapped you in a bear-like hug. Yinshen, no, you can't eat anyone. Yushu has the antidote to turn you back into a human. Don't let your demon instincts turn you into a monster. Let me go, you filthy slayer. You swung a leg. You swung your leg above your head, kicking him in the face. When then you ran away. You decided to go back to Muzan, cause it seemed that every place you went, this a slayer would always be there to catch you. As you were flying, you were thinking of the antidote and honestly considering letting them inject it. All these humans somehow knew you. They knew you as a human. Who was I as a human? Maybe I should? You landed on the roof watching Muzan fight the Slayer. You saw more coming to fight. Whose side am I really on? Was I always on Muzan's side? You looked down at your hands. Who am I? You're the angel Hashra, Yin Lin. You turned to the voice. You look to see a girl almost identical to you, except with a halo and wings. No horns or gray skin. With hair color with, uh, with hair colored length and hair colored hair and skin colored. Who are you? I'm you, silly. Well, kind of. I'm the last bit of humanity inside you. You haven't eaten anyone, so I still remain. Now, this is quite the mess. She said, looking down at the fight. You looked at it and noticed how Muzan was struggling. You were about to fly down and help him, but yourself stopped you. Sit with me and talk for just a minute. She said, completely calm but worried, not worried one bit. Your curiosity overcame the feeling to help Muzan. Okay. You sat next to her. You really should take the antidote to turn back into a human. Our friends need us. I know you only refused to take it because you thought your loyal your loyalty was to Muzan, but that's a lie. You look at yourself. You actually started considering it. I mean, you were talking to your humanity self right now. There's no way they could be lying to trick you, uh, lying to you or tricking you. But what if we stay a demon? I mean, we can live forever. We'll rule over the world with Master Muzan. He'll create a new world. Both growing old and passing away. This is what makes he being human so beautiful. You also don't die. Your memories live on. Demons don't experience that. Because demons don't retain a human heart. You scoffed. So what? What's so amazing about emotions that humans have? Look down at the fight. They all are weak compared to Muzan, yet 
they still fought him. Why do you think that is? Because they're idiotic. Because they're not just carrying their emotions, but the emotions of the people who they are fighting for. They fight for a better day. They, they fight so they can protect the weak. They fight so nobody else may suffer. Yourself grabbed your shoulders. We fought because we wanted to make a more peaceful world. We fought for our friends. We fought for our family. And we fought for our home village. We fought for our parents. Try to remember, don't give in to the temptations of staying a demon. We must return to being a human. She said with a holy blaze in her eyes. You blinked, you were torn. You considered the possibility of what happened if you chose one or the other, turning back into a human or remain a demon. This isn't us. This was never supposed to be us. We can't stay like this. Take the antidote. We are the angel Hashira, not the demon queen. We still have a chance to avenge our village and our parents. Even if that, even if they're true, all these slayers down there would be, hate me. I mean, I have almost killed them. As a single gold tear slid down your face, your self, other self lifted your head and smiled. That's not true. I'll forgive you. They'll all forgive us. Well, us, yeah. As long as you help finish this fight. She stood up and held your hands out towards you. So, what do you say?